Hey friends, today I'm trying Rampant Premiere Essentials presets for Adobe Premiere Pro. I made a short video about it previously and today I am making a full tutorial on how to use those presets to create amazing and pro video effects and transitions that will impress your clients. So you can get them for $29, which is very affordable. When you install the Premiere Essentials presets, you get some bonus stuff, rampant bumps and shakes, uh, rampant effects, rampant frame effects, rampant letterboxes, and the transitions that I use on so many of my videos. All right, so let's start with the bonus stuff. The first thing is the frame effects slice diagonal left. I'm just gonna drag and drop it on my clip. It creates a split screen. So I guess if I would put another clip under, yeah, so that way you get a split screen in two seconds. Even if you don't put the other side, it's kind of cool. Ramp and blurs. I drag and drop it. Oh, it creates a like blur vignetting on the side. It's really soft. I really like it. Now the six. Oh, this one is very intense. Every time you apply a preset, obviously you can customize it. Simply go in your effect controls and then you can change all the parameters easily. Rampant vignettes. What's very nice with the vignette is that it's very fast to create a vignetting around your subject, but also it's in fact a mask and you can add a color of your choice under your video and this color will pop all around your subject. So if you wish to create a color mat, you can go in file, new, select color mat and pick a color of your choice and then press OK. And you can place it on your first layer and on the second layer you can have your video with the vignetting. If you're not pleased with the color you picked, you can always change it by double clicking on the color clip and picking another one and press OK. My favorite vignettes by Rampant Design are the rectangular ones. I think they are very modern. Now we're gonna try the bumps and shakes. Woo! You really create a lot of movement. Bump effect large with blur. Nice. So it's really easy to just drag and drop them. It's fun because it looks very soft the way it's animated. Rampant effects, double exposure. This is one of my favorite. There's like an overlay of the same clip on top that appears. So it gets pretty crazy. And you can go and change the blending mode here. Depending on the blending mode you choose, the effect will always appear different. Now let's try the next one. Compress video heavy. Kind of give you that JPEG pixelization. <laughs> Quick grain. So if I zoom in, you really can see all the color grain. I like how saturated it is. You can add more noise if you want. Use color noise or not. That's without the color noise. So now the noise is all black and white, but the, the clip still has color. There's a low one too. This one is very legit. That's nice. Now let's go to quick looks. Color to full desaturation. When I first started doing video, this effect was like my goal. <laughs> still, it looks super cool. Grain and desaturation, that's very pretty. Eye contrast and desaturation, that's cool. Black and white with grain. It's so easy to just drag a look like that. And then you get a great look for your video. All right, so now we're gonna try the frame effect. Oh, that's really cool. So these ones are super awesome to create some split screens really fast with an animation, either at the beginning or at the end. You can also just select which part of the clip you want to crop to emphasize some parts to create something like this. What I did is that I used the same clip twice. So my original clip was like this. Then I copied it, I pasted it, and I placed two clips on top of each other. On the top clip, I'm going to go in rampant frame effects and I'll choose the slice top and on the other one I'll choose slice bottom and then I'll go in the quick look section of the rampant effect and I'm going to choose style black and white for the bottom one. I think I remove one of them to make it a little bit less intense. Yeah, this one. And then I selected my clip and I went in the motion section of the video effects and I just lowered it a tiny bit to create a black line. And that was it. In the frame effects section, you can also drag and drop some bounce presets that kind of act as a transition and add a lot of motion. I think they look super sweet. Now the letterboxes. 185, so it kind of gives a little bit of space on top and under. 235, like anamorphic. 240, a little bit slimmer. And the transitions, which are my 
favorite. And what I like to do is that I like to place my clip a little bit on top of the other one and then I add any of these transitions and I just place it at the beginning of my clip. So this way you can still see the other image under, so it looks really cool. Okay, so let's say I want to add a transition between this and this. We could pick blur in from right. We just did blur in from left. So blur in from right is the same thing from the other side. I love to use this with text too. If you're looking for free overlays, I suggest you check out this website by Rampant, 4kfree.com. There's 40 packs of samples in high resolution and it's free so you should really try them. I think Rampant really offer amazing products, it's always super high resolution and it looks really professional. If you tried any of the Rampant products and you want to share your experience and share what you created with them, let me know in the comment section and I'll be really happy to see your work. Again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Have a nice day!